there's a bullshit storm gathering. The intent is biased, and the rhetoric is fearmongery. But gay people are done with being afraid. Some who advocate against marriage equality have taken the issue far beyond truth. They want to address the issue using bald-faced lies. They want you to believe that their freedom will be taken away. They say that doctors will have to choose between their faith and their job. What they really are seeking is the freedom for religious doctors to exalt their personal faith beliefs above others' right to a genderless health care. They talk about a situation in New Jersey wherein a church group was supposedly punished for not supporting same-sex marriage. The truth is that this particular church group was receiving tax breaks on their property because they had agreed to let the pavilion be available for public use. But when a lesbian couple tried to use the pavilion, they were denied. So essentially, this church group wanted every straight couple, regardless of faith, to use the property, but they wanted to deny gay couples the same. And they wanted to do all this while still accepting a tax break from the government. It doesn't take a legal scholar to understand why this is unacceptable. They say that Massachusetts parents are helpless in watching public schools teach their children that gay marriage is okay. But they want to teach children that homosexuality is wrong, immoral, and worse yet, changeable. And despite the fact that same-sex marriage is legal in Massachusetts and children of same-sex couples attend public schools, they want to deny reality so that yet another generation can grow up disliking LGBT people. They, the faith-based anti-gays, are the ones who wish to indoctrinate. Inclusive educators are the ones who wish to educate. They who advocate against marriage equality have not been content with simply living and praying as they wish. Those advocates wish to stifle the way that gay people live, foisting their personal religious views onto the civil sector. Because of their refusal to accept the sunshine of love, same-sex couples' freedom and happiness has been turned into a storm. But we do have hope. As they continue these unabashed attempts to demonize LGBT people, more and more folks of every creed and color are coming together in love to resist their attacks on marriage equality. They are realizing that groups like the National Organization for Marriage are the truly militant ones who wish to tyrannically control freedom. And they realize that by joining such groups in this modern civil rights fight, they would be willingly resigning themselves to the wrong side of American history. Yes, my friends, a storm is coming. A storm of resistance against the lies that have denied gay people for far too long. Paid for by those who don't wish to pay the karma bill that will stem from discrimination.